Being successful in your campaigning work depends on how well you plan what you're going to do. We suggest that you work through the following steps to be as effective as possible. Firstly, set campaign goals. You will need to be clear what you want to achieve from your campaign. This will help you work out exactly what you need to do to make it happen. Do your research. Find out as much as you can about the issues that concern you and how they affect people. This means the facts about the situation and the different opinions from those making decisions on the issues are affected by them. This includes ideas about how things could be improved. Remember to set manageable targets within your overall goal and define what you see as success along the way. This will help you to review progress from time to time so you stay in control of the progress towards your goals. Clear messages about what you are trying to achieve really matter. This means having short, clear demands expressed reasonably and confidently that communicate to others exactly what you are trying to achieve and why. These need to capture the most important aspects of what you want. Make sure that all of your group are aware of and agree with the messages so that you are clear and united. It's important to assess your strengths when you're campaigning. You don't need to do everything yourselves. It might be that you can join an existing campaign that has the same goal or work with others who want to join you in making your campaign stronger. It's always important to consider what knowledge and skills you will need to campaign successfully. This is partly about the research you do and about whether you have people in the group who can do things like speak in public to the press or negotiate. You might need a plan to develop these skills if they aren't there already. You will definitely need to identify your allies. Starting with who are your allies and how can they support or help you achieve your aims. This could include other refugee communities who have common concerns and share your experience. Or local communities, trade unions, religious organisations who have a broader sense of what is just and fair about the issues that concern you. So reach out and make connections with others like sympathetic politicians, journalists or support of celebrities who have an existing public platform. So it's really important to choose your targets when campaigning. This will be based on who has the power to make the change you want to see. There's no point in putting pressure on people who can't deliver what you want to see changed unless it's to get them to join you in persuading or putting pressure on those who can change things. This means being clear about who is responsible for the policy and implementation actions related to the issues that concern you. For example, politicians in London or in Scotland may set the direction of immigration or education policy, but it will be particular officials that may have some control over day-to-day -day implementation and how that might be improved. So by thinking about whether you're trying to convince other citizens, community organisations, local councils, the Scottish or UK government or the general public, you'll be better able to tailor your messages to convincing them to support you. Whether they help you make the changes you want will depend on what tactics you use to get them to actively support what you do. You should use all of this information to plan a strategy, including a clear plan with your demands, what action you will take, when and who will do things. Include timescales that reflect what you're trying to achieve, such as when relevant policy consultation might take place or when an election is due. Like everything else, it's important to review your plan on a regular basis and update it if circumstances change. You need to choose tactics which serve the overall aims of your campaign. This means you need to consider what will raise awareness or put pressure on the institutions you seek to influence? 
How can you persuade them to do what you feel is the right thing, or might you need to embarrass them into this? Can you demonstrate the effects of policies they may not fully understand, or if necessary, expose the impact of bad policy and practice to the wider public? Your tactics matter. The right ones will work and the wrong ones could drive allies away and make things worse. So think very carefully about how to persuade decision makers that your point of view is the right thing to do for you and for them. Being seen to be reasonable and acting within the law is the best way forward. Plan your events and actions. Plan every event or action to be visible with a clear purpose and carried out within the law. If you have a demonstration, remember to apply for permission and make sure you get it before going ahead. It's your campaign and although getting more people involved is great, you need to ensure that they share the same aims and approaches as you. Be careful that you don't lose control to others who may join but who have different aims. Planning matters for everything, whether it's a public meeting, a lobby of parliament or a non-violent demonstration against evictions. It's vital that you think what brings more people to your cause and avoids driving them away. This is what builds pressure for the changes you seek. Publicity is a major aim of all campaigning, so think carefully about how you can engage the media about all your campaign actions and have a clear message in media releases or interviews. Stay focused, but remain flexible. Things don't stay the same for long and you need to be aware of what others are doing, including people whose minds you're trying to change.